Um, Omega-3s particularly, not so much omega-6, but omega-3s particularly, the research shows that the body turns those into very powerful anti-inflammatory compounds. And those are called resolvents because they resolve inflammation. And that research is actually quite new. So it's only about 10 years old, less than, probably less than 10 years old. Uh, and omega-3s, uh, they're, because they turn into these very powerful anti-inflammatories, help in many inflammatory conditions. Joints is the most obvious one. And there are two issues. One is to get these resolvents by getting enough omega-3s in the diet for the body to be able to make them. The second issue is that when you get toxic molecules in your oils or in your foods, those will also create inflammation in joints as well as in other tissues. And so you need to do for physical health, always need to do two things. Optimize your essential nutrients and included in those are a number of nutrients that decrease inflammation if you optimize their presence in your body. And the second thing you want to do is you want to minimize the unnatural molecules that you allow in your body. And you can even sweat some of them out or, or uh, do other forms of detox with liver support, with herbs for liver support, uh, with drinking lots of water, with sweating. So there's a, a number of ways that you can get rid of uh, toxic molecules, but the best thing to do is to pick foods that don't have toxic molecules in them. The less processed they are, the less chance of having toxic molecules in your foods, which is why, you know, why I recommend, you know, life standard for, for health, for our bodies that work, fresh, whole, raw, organic foods. And as long as the planet's been turning, that has been the standard for food for every creature on the planet. And we're the only creatures that think we're smarter than that and that can do stupid things to our food without consequences. And clearly we have the consequences. Now, when I was 38, I had arthritis in my knees. And the big change that I made was I stopped frying. I don't have a frying pan in my house. I stopped using the colorless, odorless, tasteless oils. I began to use oils made with health in mind. And now I'm 68 and I have no pain in my knees except when I bang into something. So a very, very nice change for me. And this is like 30 years later. So does it make a difference that you make a change to, your, to how you eat? Absolutely, it makes a difference to joint function. When we work with athletes, they tell us that their knees, they have more flexibility and mobility in their knees and they have less pain and tenderness. Now these are the guys who abuse their joints more than anybody else. And uh, very consistently, they get better, uh, better joint function. When they use clean oils at a tablespoon per 50 pounds of body weight per day in their food every day.